Hello. So we're going to wait just a couple minutes and see if we'll have some friends hop on with us. Let's see what are you working on? A dinosaur craft. Ooh. What'd you make? I'm not done yet. I no. already finished one dinosaur You finished one? I finished two on me. Okay. Which one's your favorite, do you think? Oh, that dinosaur that opened and stuff. His mouth. Oh, I see. Okay. I so, need a glue stick. Um, do you want to use tape? Uh, no. No? I need a glue. Okay. If you, you know what, I don't know where, the, there's some in the kitchen. Okay. Let's see. Do we have anybody online yet? And our sound, is our sound. Can we get this Oh, yeah. Can everybody hear us? Can you do that thing that we blew, which please, that thing right there? What? With that orange topping right there? Um, no, let's wait on that. Hello. Yeah, hello. All right, we're going to wait just a minute for people that are joining us. I'm Lindsay. I'm one of the owners of Bin Michigan Moms, and I'm a homeschooling mom. Um and we've been doing some live videos um just to try and give you guys something to help break up your day while you guys are um out of school for a little bit in we are in michigan and in michigan we just started our third week of kids um being out of school and so um that can be a real challenge to keep people um, occupied and to keep the little people um, happy and um, so we've done Facebook lives about what did we do we did um, with David we did deep sea creatures and Volcano. we did volcanoes and the other day we did um, I don't know uh, the solar system and so David's not here today um, hi Kenzie hi Owen Hi, Ava. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Mia. Mila. Mila. Sorry. Thank you, Jackie. Good. I'm glad you can hear and see me. And so today, David's not here with us. So who's with us today? Lucy. Lucy. And how old are you? Four. You're four. And what's your what's your favorite thing to learn about? Uh, dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. All right. So what's a dinosaur? Uh, a dinosaur is a, di uh, a, 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 a animal that is not alive anymore. You're right. So dinosaur, um, dinosaur actually means terrible lizard. What? So what? there are... Um, five different types of animals okay so they're mammals we're mammals right there's mammals there's birds there's fish there are amphibians and then there are reptiles and dinosaurs are a type of reptile so 200 million years ago depending on who you ask dinosaurs lived and so um, a really interesting way to think about that is, um, oh my goodness. So um, some say that um, the earth um, is 4 billion years old, okay? So it, a fun way to think about that is um, by, if the earth is that old, um, if you think about from the beginning of time all the way through current day and we squeeze everything into 12 hours, we have not been around for more than a minute. But that's very controversial. So dinosaur, what do what are some things that dinosaurs have in common? Because there's lots of different kinds of dinosaurs. Um, so there are over 700 different species of dinosaurs that have been discovered and they're all very different different shapes and sizes 
Um, and so what do dinosaurs do? Eat meat. There are some meat eaters and there are some -eater. plant eaters. Mom, this is a plant eater. You're right. He is a plant eater. So it's called, um, so the ones that eat meat are called, um, what are they called if they're a meat eater? Reptile. Not a reptile. A carnivore. And some of the dinosaurs eat plants and they're called herbivores. Okay, dinosaurs are lizards, so they laid eggs um, and the eggs hatched and that's how they had baby dinosaurs. Um, they lived on land and they built nests for their eggs. And something that's um, very interesting, Lucy, you said that dinosaurs aren't alive anymore, right? Mm -hmm. And what's that word for something that's not alive anymore? Extinct. Extinct. But did you know that's not true? Dinosaurs, there's one small group of animals today that is still alive that are descendants from dinosaurs. Do you know what they are? These toys. These toys. These are not extinct. Birds. Birds are descendants of dinosaurs. So that's very interesting. Okay, so dinosaurs, I think when we think of dinosaurs, they were all really big and massive and the big, you know, long-necked Brachiosaurus and Tyrannosaurus rex. But um, some dinosaurs were, could fit in your hand. Some were as small as a chicken or a turkey or like your dog. Hey, he could fit in our hand. He could fit in your hand, that's true. Okay, and so some of them were 120 feet tall and weighed 80 tons. And that's 160,000 pounds. And some of them were um, as little as eight pounds. Eight pounds, that's kind of, that's like a big newborn baby. That's like my babies, my newborn babies. Other people, those are three month um, old babies. Um, and so we need a glue they stick. We need a glue stick. Go find a glue stick. There's one in the kitchen. Um, and so they were divided into two categories. So carnivores ate meat and herbivores ate plants. And um, what's interesting is um, the carnivores stood upright and they were walked on two feet and they either hunted in groups or alone. And the um, herbivores were more often the four-legged variety of dinosaurs. No, in the drawer, pull the drawer out. Yeah, and there should be the orange top. Um, and so we're going to, Lucy's gonna come back. She's getting a glue stick. It was very urgent. She has to finish something. And um, we're gonna talk about each of the dinosaurs. Okay, Lucy, which one do you wanna talk about first? T-Rex. T-Rex, is that your favorite? Mm -hmm. Here, let's do this in just a minute, okay? And so, who's this? T-Rex. Okay, so T-Rex is his short name. What's his long name? A Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex. And what is, um, what does T-Rex, what did Tyrannosaurus Rex have? The side teeth and, and he was a meat eater and two fingers. Yeah, two fingers. So this is a really interesting way to, um, to tell the difference apart between him and so his friend over here, and I mean, the size is smaller because it's different toys, but so this is an Allosaurus and he has some bumps and ridges on his head, but he has three fingers. So the Tyrannosaurus Rex only had two fingers and these little stubby short arms. And um, did he use these arms for very much? No. no, not really. Scientists aren't really sure what he used them for. He could have used them to grab on, to hold on to his prey. Prey is something that um, another animal eats. So he was a predator. A predator would hunt the prey. Um, he had very sharp teeth. The carnivores that ate meat had to have sharp teeth to grind and cut and chew. He had a very long, strong tail that gave him good balance. Um, he had very, very good, what did, what worked really well on him? His eyes, he had very good eyesight. Um, and he was relatively fast. He could run pretty fast, couldn't he? All right, he's a pretty neat guy. Should we just go down the line and do the, the tallest to the not so tallest? All right, do you remember what this guy was? Long, Who? Long, long neck, like I'm blue. Long, long neck. Long, long neck is what 
you guys have called them since you were little. This is a Brachiosaurus, and he has um, some ridges and bumps on his head. And that's how you can differentiate him from an Apatosaurus, who also has a long neck. And um, he walked on four legs. He was gigantic. He ate um, plants and um, trees and uh, leaves and they ate pine cones. Would you like to eat pine cones? No. Why not? I don't know. You don't think it would be good? It'd be kind of crunchy like a, like a pretzel? Mm -hmm. You like pretzels. Do you want to go eat a pine cone? No. No, yuck. Um, and he, uh, what else do we know about him? He wasn't like fast. He ate plants. Get a long neck. Mm -hmm. That's all we know. All right, moving on. This is a, I'm sure a lot of kids can recognize this. Who's this? Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus. And what does he have all down his back? Plates. Some plates and some spikes. And he has some big, sharp spikes on his tail. Mm -hmm. And he was a four, he walked on four legs and he, eight plants, so he was an herbivore. And something that's very interesting, um, so this guy, what, what's this guy's name? Iguanodon. No, not an iguanodon. This, was, this is a Spinosaurus. A Spinosaurus actually isn't a dinosaur. So if you look, and a way that they differentiate the dinosaurs from the non-dinosaurs is by their hip sockets. And so um, this guy, you can see his legs come outward a little bit. Dinosaurs had their legs um, and their hips directly underneath them, and that helped them to be sturdy and stable and to walk and to keep their balance. Um, and so this guy, this is a Spinosaurus. He's kind of a cool looking guy. He's more of a lizard. He's not a true dinosaur. Um, so tricky, tricky, because he came in the Amazon set of 12 dinosaurs. So sorry, Mr. Spinosaurus, you're not a dinosaur. Um, so Stegosaurus, he also has a very, very small, Why'd you fall? what's up here? Okay. He's not a dinosaur. Get him out of here. What's in his head here? What's the organ that you use to think and help control your body and everything? Brain. Your brain. He had a very small brain. Oh no. All right. This is Triceratops. Triceratops had tri means three, three horns on his head and this big plate to help um, defend himself and fight himself, uh, to fight himself, to fight other dinosaurs. He had four legs. He walked on the ground. He wasn't very fast. And he ate plants. All right. This guy, what's this guy? Do you know who this is, Lucy? A mosasaurus. Not a mosasaurus. This is an ankylosaurus. And what did ankylosaurus have that made him very unique? What are you doing? You're interesting. Don't do that. Here. Ankylosaurus had a big club on his tail that he used to fight and swat other dinosaurs away. Can he had spikes all down, down his back. Do he have, walked. Do I have another I do. Here, just sit down real quick. Um, walked on four legs and ate plants. All right, you can start coloring this one. You can do this any order you want to. How do we do that? You just color and then we're going to make it into a little book. All right, I had mentioned this guy is an Allosaurus. He has the ridges on his head. And um, depending on how big of a toy he was, you might think he's a Tyrannosaurus Rex, but he's not because he has three fingers on each of his hands and Tyrannosaurus Rex only had two little claws. All right, this guy, this guy is very popular. Lots of people like him. Who's he? Uh, Velociraptor. Velociraptor. I think Velociraptor's got a lot more popular and common um, after Jurassic Park. And so yeah, what, but what was kind of interesting about Jurassic Park is that Velociraptors are actually very tiny, two and a half to three feet tall. They're like the size of a turkey, like a wild turkey. Um, they hunt in packs and they are meat eaters and they are not kind animals at all. Um, and uh, sharp teeth, good eyesight. All right. Um, this guy, this guy is very interesting because I have dark clothes on, so I'm sorry. You can't really see very well. He has very long front 
toenail that could be almost 10 inches long. If you had a 10 inch long toenail, do you think your feet would fit into your shoes? No. no. This is a Uteraptor. Uteraptor. Yeah. And he, he was a meat eater. Meat eater. Yep. Sharp teeth. And he walked on two legs. Mom, these two and dinosaurs are the same. Is that a T Rex and a different dinosaurs? That's a Velociraptor and that's a T Rex. Um, and so what was interesting and unique about him was this really long toenail that he would use for um uh for fighting and also for balance. All right. And then we have what's this guy? The Parasaurophilus. Mm -hmm. He had this really interesting large crest on his head. And in it, he had like sinus cavities, and they could make noise using this to communicate with um, with their pack mates or the dinosaurs of the same species as them. So walked on two legs. Um, like T-Rex. Like T-Rex, but tiny, smaller. And then this guy, this is our last dinosaur that we were going to show everyone. This guy had a Mom, really... We, got this for a we did try Ceratops. He had this really um, smooth exposed part of his head and he was a um i believe he was a plant eater but he would use this to fight and to headbutt other um other dinosaurs and his name i'm not gonna do that right now his name was a pachycelophosaurus i think all right so those are our dinosaurs I'm going to show you guys a couple of crafts that we found and these crafts are all things so um everything that i use and show you guys i try to make sure that it's free for you guys and so um and i'm gonna set copy a link in this video when we're done to all these crafts so what we did can you go get your um tissue paper dinosaur we did this one yesterday and so all it is is we found an outline of a tyrannosaurus rex and then we took little bits of tissue paper and Lucy crumpled them up. Come sit in your chair. And then we glued them on and stuck a googly eye on it and um, let it dry. Um, and one of my favorite places to get craft supplies is the Dollar Tree. Hands down. We shop the Dollar Tree often. All of our craft supplies are from there. Um, they have construction paper. They have writing paper. I, my, we do, we do buy like Crayola crayons and markers and color pencils, but our glue sticks and our scissors and everything, dollar store, dollar store eyes. Eyes are expensive and we go through a lot of them. So one of my very, very favorite things from the dollar store and bless the heart of the man or woman who thought of this is pre-cut tissue paper squares. These are a blessing. They come in eight different colors. They're a dollar for a ton of them. And you don't have to sit and try and cut tissue paper apart. So I threw a little stack of green ones at Lucy. She crumpled them up, glued them on her dinosaur. Something else we did. Do you want to hand me that one you just did? Your cut and paste. Um, Lucy loves to color cut and glue. Color cut and glue girl. And so this was a regular size piece of paper. She cut off the bottom. And at the bottom were the tails of the four dinosaurs. And so she colored them all, cut them all out, and then glued them to match them up to the dinosaurs um, that they belong to. And so what did you have on here? You have a Brachiosaurus, a Stegosaurus, no, a, a, a Tyrannosaurus Rex, and the Parasolophus, the guy that makes music with his head crest. Um, another really fun, easy, easy craft clothespins, Dollar Tree. I think you get like a hundred of them for a dollar are these little guys. And it's just a little dinosaur. Um, any little teeny dinosaur you can look for, um, Google search like cartoon dinosaur, clip art dinosaur. Um, and you color him, cut him out and then cut his head in two. And then you glue him on a clothespin. Arr, 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 arr. And so what we'll do is we'll make a couple more of these guys. And I had found um, a bunch of different guys and we'll do those. Um, and we gotta make a whole bunch of them. And then that guy can, and we have two pterodactyls. Yeah, we didn't really talk about pterodactyls, did we? Mm -hmm. 
We don't have a pterodactyl. We don't have a pterodactyl, so we didn't talk about them. I apologize for that. But I know some about them. They fly. Yeah. And they eat plants. You are right. Very good. Hey, David is here, and he would like to let everyone know that they ate fish as well. Okay. And they bend their wings to land. I didn't know that. Are you sure? Okay. So our di- you said dinosaurs aren't alive anymore? Mm-hmm. How do we know that dinosaurs used to be alive? Because they were because they were because they because we knew about them. Come sit down. When they left us some clues. What clues did they leave us? Their bones. Their bones. And what are were the what are those bones called? Fossils. Fossils. And so fossils, a fossil is any evidence of prehistoric life that's at least 10,000 years old. And so the most common fossils are bones and teeth. Um, and do you, remember, do you know how fossils are formed? Well, when they, when dinosaurs, when they, when dinosaurs fall down. When they, when they die? Uh-huh. Oh, and then what happens? They get covered in dirt and scientists find them. So that's right. So a dinosaur will die and it'll fall down and it will decompose all of its soft tissue. So its skin and its muscles and its organs. And then um, it gets covered in mud or dirt or hard clay. Um, and then um, it gets buried. And as other material and particles push on top of it, it pushes down and forms a lot of pressure. Mom, hey, and we went to, and we never seen bones like in, from these that dinosaurs, these dinosaurs and that dinosaur back there. You've and never dinosaur. seen a bone of those guys? Uh-huh. Fossils? No, none of those two guys are these guys. Okay. None of those guys. So when I grew up, I'm going to be scientists to find them. So Lucy's going to, you heard it here first, Lucy's going to be a scientist to discover them and their fossils. So then um, their sediment builds up on top of them. Because he goes very fast. Oh, he is. He's like walking. So then water kind of seeps into the bones and um, turns them into stone. And so what we see is rock that's been left behind. Um, and so scientists, um, and paleontologists will go out and dig them up. And the first thing they do is they make a mold of the bones because they're very fragile. And, um, then they'll kind of work together to piece them together. Um, one of the most complete and largest, um, I want to say it was 80% complete. I don't know if that's 100% accurate. Complete skeletons of a Tyrannosaurus Rex was found. Do you remember um, the... When we went to a... Who did we see? T-Rex and and that's the T-Rex head. And and you made up to see it, right? Mm, No, no, no. So, no, um, the T-Rex we saw in Florida. What was that T-Rex's name? Yeah. Uh, uh, Sue. Sue. Dino Sue. Sue was the first name of one of the lead paleontologists that found him in South Dakota. And he was 80%. She, it was a female, um, 80% complete. And she is in Chicago. And um, we saw a replica of her um, at animal in Animal Kingdom in Orlando, Florida which that warmth sounds nice right now. I like them. Um, and so why aren't dinosaurs alive anymore, Lucy? Okay, what happened? Because people got alive. Because people became alive. No, something big happened. What do scientists think happened? An asteroid went on land and some of them, and then a volcano came in and some of them, and the last of them did that. So that is right. So scientists think a giant asteroid collided with earth and um, set off a chain reaction. So a chain reaction is something happens and then a bunch of things happen after it. So the asteroid hit the earth 
And then, and then some of them died, and then a volcano comes in the last time. Okay, so right after the impact of the asteroid, some of them immediately passed away, died. And then it sent a shock wave that moved the tectonic plates that were underneath and the then, Earth and the Earth's crust, and those caused earthquakes, so where the ground shakes, caused volcanoes where um, the magma comes up from the Earth and, and comes out as lava. And the biggest thing that scientists think happened is that as a result of the meteor, a lot of ash and dust um, and also from the volcanoes went into the atmosphere and it was so thick that it blocked out sunlight. And so without sun um, and sunlight, plants weren't growing. And so without plants, none of the plant eater dinosaurs could survive. And without the plant eater dinosaurs alive, the meat eater dinosaurs could not survive. And so it wasn't an immediate um, thing that happened, but a gradual thing. And um, that is what scientists think. We don't know for sure, but that's what they think. Um, one other craft that we did earlier was this little guy, this 3D Tyrannosaurus Rex. He's kind of cute. Um, he's a flat piece of paper. And so we colored him and then taped him up and he stands up not very well, needs support. And um, so he's kind of fun and I'll send you the link for this. And then um, real quick, I'm gonna show you guys what um, our favorite dinosaur books are. Um, oh, Lucy, can you put the hood of your hoodie up? It's a stegosaurus one. This is a stegosaurus? Mm -hmm. So this hoodie is so cute. I have green one, two one. She has two of them. She has a green one and a blue one. So I had seen a comment about it. And these, um, I was just going to make a... Um, and they both have pink spots. Give you a PSA about children, girls who love dinosaurs. Target as the cutest dinosaur-themed girl clothes ever. This is from Target. Um, and her, and she has a dinosaur dress on. And you have dinosaur everything, everything today. So our favorite dinosaur books, and if you guys have any questions, let me know. And if I don't happen to see them, I'll um, answer them um, in the comments after we hop off, is a little golden book um, about dinosaurs. This early reader, The World of Dinosaurs. This one is fun. These, um, the Cat in the Hat Learning Library books. Oh, say, can you say dinosaur? And it's nice for people like me because it goes through and gives you the phonetics of how to pronounce the dinosaur's name and, and gives you some facts about a lot and, of them. And Stanka is T-Rex from after this dinosaur, right? Oh, I don't know. T-Rex is after this dinosaur. Oh, is that the order it goes in? Mm -hmm. And then one of our favorite dinosaur books is this going. Us Born Flat Book. And it has over 50 flaps to lift. And so there are just tons of facts and flaps and things to learn about. Life begins, giant Donna the dinosaurs, giant footsteps, um, strange decorations. This is where we learn that the Parasolophilus can play music with their crests. Um, mm -hmm. And then it goes know. through where did they all go and fossils and dinosaurs today. All right. Um, I think that's it, Lucy. What do you think? Are we done? No, I'm not doing this craft. Oh, Lucy is working on the last craft, and I have a link for this, too. I'm going to show it real quick, and then we're going to hop off, okay? This is a two-page um, mini book, and I love these little emergent reader books. I color it, and we'll fold it all together. And this is a dinosaur book, and it has like a really cute little illustration. And um, this is an Ankylosaurus, this is a pterodactyl, this is a Tyrannosaurus rex, and then it has another sheet with Stegosaurus and Velociraptor and Triceratops on it. Mom, this is my wife there that went with the a T Rex, two T Rexes, a gear T Rex, and a boy T Rex. Oh my gosh, that's awesome! All right, well, we appreciate everyone hopping on with us, and if you guys have any questions, please let us know. If you have any um, topics um, of Facebook Lives that you'd like us to do, um, please let us know. We love doing this. This is fun. Um, Lucy, do you want to say anything else? Yes. What do you want to say? Mm -hmm.
dinosaurs. Some dinosaurs have a spike on them so they wouldn't get eaten by teeth by the meat eat. Absolutely. Yep. A lot of the spikes and horns and things that they have was so that they wouldn't get eaten. All right. So thanks, everybody. Um, we hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. And we'll talk to you soon. Take care.